Quick little photo shoot here for the Ash Waste Weekend that Jay and I just did. Welcome to another episode of JD and the South Sea. Be here. So this one's going to be a quick little build and paint. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a, a insight on uh, what happens at Ash Waste Weekend. We basically have a diorama photo shoot with our gangs. Uh, these are some of the other people. Those were some of the other people that were at the weekend. Um, I made mine out of an old drill box. Um, yeah, that way I can fold this thing up, take it to wherever I want, and, uh, you know, we can get some good good shooting. I entered it in the diorama competition, um, or, you know, display board. But, uh, yeah, so I didn't have a whole lot of time, so I smashed this out on Wednesday before we left on Friday to go do it. Um, here's some of the tools that uh, I used. Hot foam cutter at the drill box, a little bit of Mod Podge, glue gun. Um, then when we get to the painting, there was a few things that I added with the painting that uh, I haven't used before, which was pretty cool. Uh, due to the nature of this, oh, and here we go. We've got another fantastic display. Yeah, there's a lot of people that went all out on this. These gangs were fantastic. What a great weekend. I'm fairly sure Jay's going to have a video out soon on our trip. Um, and hey, who knows? Uh, you know, who knew? I My car didn't blow up on the way out there. But uh, wow, these were such good, good just builds. So uh, anyways, yes, due to the nature of me having to uh, wait till the last minute to do this, I really didn't have the option of using oils on this. Um, basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to make a cavern um, in Secundus, just an outdoor cave. Um, but I didn't want a picture of the outside. I just didn't have enough time to do an actual like sunset or sunrise or anything like that. So instead, uh, I had the cave going further, you know, the backdrop going further into the cave zone. Um, I figured, hey, this is a great time for spiders. I mean, there's lots of spiders on there. <laughs> Their guard regiment is, is named the spiders. There's so many spiders on there. Uh, I got out my hot glue gun here and, uh, you know, just started trying to make a web shape. Um, I actually think I did pretty good for something that I just came up with on the fly. Uh, hot glue is great for this. Uh, it's stringy. It's all over the place. You guys, uh, if you've been watching my, uh, well, pretty much any of the build videos that I've made, I, I generally like to use a hot glue gun at least to get parts in place. Yeah, here we go, a little walk through some more. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i not sure how many people were there. I know at least 15, but I think there was more than that. Um, yeah, look at how cool these are. Oh, such good stuff. But yeah, anyways, um, just really enjoying how to do this. Uh, I, was, I was rushed, really rushed. Um, yeah, here we go, some bits. Uh, I figured I'd put a platform grill in there. Uh, a table at some point, but yeah, just a little a little cave just to get some shelter while you're roaring around in the Secundus Wastes. Um, being Secundus, of course, um, later on, I do have my, uh, my blue-green look. Um, once again, no oils again. Um, yeah, I wanted to put some texture on this um, you know, not a whole lot so I, I found some uh, yeah I think I got it as a gift uh, not too long ago just a stack of different basing materials and there's one in there that's got some pretty coarse grit sand which is pretty fantastic um, actually everything about all this was fantastic I managed to get this done in you know a night and a half um, 
You know, I could have done more to it, obviously, but, uh, you know, I wasn't attempting to try to win the competition. Um, you know, I, I do Necromunda all the time, and some of the guys that go to this, you know, maybe this is their first game of the year. Um, and I, you know, don't want to look at that, the LAC vehicle for everybody who's, uh, who wants an idea of how to make them. My God, Jacob, you really killed it on those things. A brain on the front of it. Yeah, here's Jamie's <laughs> two-story, three-story wall diorama concept, which lighted and everything. <laughs> That's such a cool little vehicle. Um, but anyways, um, yeah. All right, here we are. We got the Maltoff paints. Um, this stuff is a real deal, my friends. Um, it seems a bit pricey. Um, it's basically a paint marker refill, um, is that tube. And, you know, Maltoff, they, they specialize in paint markers, but the consistency of that paint goes right in the brush without any dilution or anything. Um, so then I have my purple, my my cold purple first for the green, um, you know, just like I did on the wall piece, and just started spraying in. Um, this, like I said, was it's actually fairly surprising to me exactly how fast all of this is. Um, so we gave some white highlighting on this, and then we're going to be doing metals and a little bit of brushwork here, and I will get back to you in a sec.
So I uh, highlighted those spider webs, but I need to add a little bit extra. Since I didn't have my oils, I figured I'd go with a little glow in the dark. This is uh, Tesseract Glow, um, and I'm going to go over all of the uh, well spider webs uh, and anything else that I highlighted in white. Um, I, once again, so many things going on, I didn't actually get a chance to photo it in UV, but we will at some point. But um, figured I'd end this project with the uh, you know trusty trusty uh, powders. Um, not half the mess I normally make on this. This was a bit contained. Like I said, I was finishing this in pretty much one night, <laughs> which is pretty ridiculous. Even for me, uh, to be honest, I, uh, I I didn't think I was gonna pull this one off, and you know, I and I used washes, um, which I don't normally do, you know, acrylic washes. Um, but once again, I'm relying on this end spray. Um, it's another purple and purple and black uh, ink, uh, thinned down really well in the low spots, just to just to build that character out. Um, we're going to end this uh, here in a second. Yeah, here we go. We're going to walk through. This is the uh, Sisters of the Sump. Um, my uh, Sump City Radio parody uh, Escher gang. Um, yeah. Most of these are all 3D prints. Yep, there's Cannabella. And uh, there's Becky. Yeah, I know, guys. It's a death maiden. But hey, you know, pretty sure Becky Boom's pretty pretty wild creature running around in the sump um you know uh thanks a lot you guys and uh please like and subscribe